Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button. My name is Mackenzie and today I'm starting off just another vlog. It is Thursday, April 9th, 10 a.m. and I am dressed and ready for the day. I took yesterday off of vlogging because I literally did nothing but put on my bathing suit at 10 a.m. and sit in my Tommy Bahama beach chair on our deck for the whole entire day. Like from 10 o'clock to four o'clock, that is what I did. Um, I got a lot of sun on my chest and my shoulders, so excuse that. But anywho, today I have class at 11 a.m. and I actually have to do schoolwork after doing absolutely nothing yesterday, so. So I'm dressed and ready for the day. It's pretty nice out today, actually. It's 56 degrees right now and sunny, so this is what I'm wearing. I've got on these cropped flare jeans from Express. These are like a light lilac color, and I was really skeptical to buy these, but I love the color of them. I think they're so cute and fun for the springtime, so I'm sporting these today. I have not worn skinny jeans in so long. I've been wearing this style jeans pretty much every time I wear jeans, and I'll start transitioning into dresses and stuff, and then I won't wear jeans until like September because that's how I roll. Um, I'm wearing it this cute little ruffle tank top from Shein. This is like really, really cropped, but I think it looks cute with these jeans on where it hits my stomach. But this is part of a two-piece set. It actually goes with a skirt, but I thought it would look really, really cute with this. I've got on just a scrunchie from... I don't even know where and then my fossil watch and I've got on my Kendra Scott necklace no earrings because my ears are really really bothering me because I wore uncomfortable earrings too many days in a row so. so the other day I had a simply protein package come and I've never shared it with you guys I worked with simply protein in January or February I think and I actually was really happy to work with them again just because their protein bars have no sugar in them and I love sugar like I consume so much sugar in a day. We had to do a nutrition project that you like logged your food for three days and I was like, I'm eating like an ungodly amount of sugar um, because I usually eat Cliff Bars and as much as I love them, they have like 22 grams of sugar in just one bar, which is like over half of how much sugar you're supposed to have in a day. So these have like two grams of sugar pretty much in everything. And last time I worked with them, they only gave me like one of each. Like they gave me one bar, one thing in like a bunch of different flavors. And this time they sent boxes of stuff except for the crunchy bites. So I got the barbecue crunchy bites, which I'm excited to try. Um, last time I had the cracked sea salt, like not my favorite snack. Like I'd obviously rather eat chips, but for 16 grams of protein, zero grams of sugar, 140 calories, like it is a really good snack to keep you full. Um, yesterday I had the peanut butter cookie baked bars. This was really good. This was 11 grams of protein. Today I'm going to try, this is like why I was going to show you guys these because this is what I'm going to have today for breakfast. This is the chocolate chip baked bar, 11 grams of protein, 3 grams of sugar. So the reason I'm sharing these with you guys is because the baked bars they sent over this month were different flavors than what they sent me last month, but both crispy bars are the exact same as I got last month. I got the lemon crispy bars and then the peanut butter chocolate bars. I actually liked the lemon one better. 15 grams of protein in this thing. So although they're not like, oh my God, I want to eat like 17 of these in one sitting, which is kind of how I feel about cliff bars. They really do keep you full, so I'm actually like I'm trying one of each now, again before the collab. But I'm actually gonna try and save these for when I go back to school because they're so high in protein that like they really were one of the only things that get me through the day without me feeling the need to constantly snack. So chocolate chip's pretty good. This one tastes pretty similar to a chocolate chip Cliff Bar, but anyways, just figured I'd keep you updated on my breakfast situation. Time to call in for my communications class. Um, your peer critique. So what I would like you to do is I want you uh, guys to like go ahead and put you guys on mute. Everybody go. So I know in one of my other vlogs, I told you guys that I was starting to work on my fashion tech project four, which is 20% of my grade. It's like part of, there's two parts to our final project. This is like one of them. And we are creating a bunch of different, we're basically creating a collection. So I've started working on this. This is about half of the project I have done now. So I wrote the thousand word paper the other day and I worked on this as well. So 
one of the first things you have to do is find an image that like kind of encompasses what your collection is so i chose this one right here i just found it on pinterest and i really liked it because it's got the car element you can tell that she's kind of somewhere grassy and green she's wearing the cowboy hat ripped jeans the buckle so it kind of is all the country elements i wanted but in more of a modern setting so we basically have to make a tiled color mosaic after that which is like something you can do through photoshop it's like part of i mean this is through illustrator so this is something you can do through illustrator and it pulls all these different tiles and then the next step you have to do is name your collection so i named mine country roads which is based off a wgsn trend for called country calling and that's for autumn winter 2021 so you take five of these and you create the colors that you want to be used in your collection you give them names and then we had to find the pantone um codes so i did that that was the first part of the project and that was through illustrator then you have to go into photoshop and we are working on our color fabrication boards and our um mood board in general so my photoshop is like not letting me move okay this was my mood board this was the next thing that i did and you basically just have to pull images no clothing items in specific can be shown just because you don't want your line to be based off of someone else's clothing designs so you're kind of trying to find the things that spark inspiration for the collection that you're going to be designing so for instance that would be animal prints and the animals themselves sunsets dirt roads whatever so i did that and then i worked on my color and fabrications board so you have those same five colors from the previous thing i showed you that was done through illustrator and then i had to choose three fabrics for my collection so i chose denim suede and leather and basically you just put put these fabrics into those colors that we tried earlier and then you had to create two different patterns he wants us to scale our patterns down so that they repeat themselves multiple times so it makes it so that you can't really tell what the patterns are but I chose some splatter paint because that was really popular in the WGSN thing I was looking at. So I chose a bunch of pattern, splatter paints and put them together to create that pattern. And then this pattern is cow print with a few stars and a cowboy hat. So I just finished that up. That was a good chunk of the project, but I still have to do the bulk of it, which is designing the actual clothes, creating the flats and putting the flats onto croquis. That part is like technically half the project, but it takes probably double if not triple the time of what I just finished. So I'm going to get working on that tomorrow. This project isn't due for another two weeks. It's due two weeks from today, I think. So I've got some time, but I'm really glad that I knocked it this part out. Taking my lunch break, I'm having chicken stuffing and rice, which we had last night for dinner. Okay, just whipped up tomorrow's blog post. I'm sharing some spring chic wish finds tomorrow, so trends to look out for. These photos I shot a couple of weeks ago now already. Just some fun pieces from them. This really cute sweater with like bell sleeves and then this dress. The sweater was the piece from Chic Wish in the first outfit. And then these cute jeans. So I just scheduled that. I previewed the post so I could make sure everything looks okay. And now I am exiting out of that. My to-do list today is looking pretty much like I haven't done anything. Although I have. I did all my schoolwork with the exception of an art history assignment and a quiz those go live at 3 30 on thursdays so it's only 2 18 so i have about an hour to kill before that i really want to film the video but it's so windy outside that i think you're going to be able to hear it if i because usually i set my camera up like in my windowsill and it's very 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 windy so i'm not sure i'm going to be able to do that i think in the meantime i'm going to go ahead and upload my giveaway photo for the day that's going to be my Instagram post. Hi guys. So I just posted my giveaway photo and I'm super excited. This is what the photo looks like. I'm giving away six pairs of discount glasses. This isn't in collaboration with them. Like I just chose the glasses. So the only person you have to follow to enter is me. I will leave my Instagram on the screen right here, style by McKenzie. And it's in the description bar linked so you guys can go follow me if you'd like to enter and want the chance to win. I will be mailing these out like on Monday morning after I choose the winner. So 
you can have a new pair of glasses six new pairs of glasses by the end of the week if you guys go enter so I'm really excited already has 402 entries but here are the pairs of sunglasses you will be winning if you guys are curious um, I have this pair of aviators that are like red and blue depending on which light they reflect in this pair of black circle aviators those are some of my favorites I got this pair of glasses in two different colors because I love the black and gold but the blue mirrored lenses are so fun I also grabbed um, the pair of aviators in just classic black with gold and then this is my favorite pair by far these black sunglasses as well this is the pair that I'm wearing in the photos so if you want to win make sure you go follow me and figure that out I'm in our guest room right now kind of just playing around with some stuff I was going to try to film but like I said it was super windy and the Sun just keeps going in and out because it's super cloudy out so I'm not gonna film but I did get some stuff yesterday this is a box of 30 bathing suits from Shein I know that I just did a bikini haul with Shein with 25 suits but it was such a hit it got over a hundred thousand views I've had 1500 new subscribers in the last four weeks so if you're new hello thank you I'm so glad and if you came from that video let me know but I'm going to be doing another one with them in the next like week or so just because it did so well that she was like, let's do another one. And of course, I'll take any excuse to get new swimsuits. If only we could go to the beach now. This was one of my favorite one pieces. I just tried it on. I let my sister choose like 10 of these suits so that she can keep them after as well. But there were so many good ones. I was just, I've just been trying on a few of them up here because like I said, I wanted to film, but I couldn't. And then I also got a box of clothes just for my regular round of collaboration. So those were swimsuits. This one. Like, that's for a specific swimsuit collab. This is just for my typical collab with them. I love this romper. I think it's such a pretty color. And then I got some more fun stuff. I got a lot of dresses and shoes in this haul. Just because a lot of you guys said you wanted to see dresses and shoes specifically. This was like a really pretty tie-dye um, cowl neck dress. If only we had places to go. But I love wearing dresses when I have nowhere to go. It's like one of my favorite things to wear. And then I got tons of these little like square toe kind of block heels. I got like three different pairs. I got a pair of gold, black, and yellow. I'm not obviously going to show you all the pieces that came yesterday because there is going to be a separate haul for it. But I love, love, love these shoes and this style. And I wanted to share a couple of them with you guys. I've yet to try these on. But I love square toes because they're super 90s-esque. And I just think they're really flattering. So... I'm trying this pair on now because I have not tried any of the shoes on. I've only really tried on one pair of jeans from it because I bought a pair of jeans in that haul for, to paint because I really wanted a project. So, I don't know if you can see these. You probably can't, but they look really cute on. Just a pair of black square toe heels. Kind of loose on my foot just because I have a really skinny foot. But, anyways, this room is a mess because my stuff is everywhere. I really need to shoot Shein Festival looks and I just am torn between how to go about shooting looks. I really don't want to shoot photos in the backyard. Like I was really trying to break that habit and like if me and my sister shoot photos on a like blank wall in town, it's not really putting anyone at risk, but also like I know we shouldn't be leaving the house at the same time, even if it is just to go in our car and we don't interact with anyone but I have a lot I've had enough photos to get me through this week and next week but I do have to shoot at some point next week because I'm out of content after that I have so many Shein festival pieces that I have yet to photograph I need to photograph them at some point next week so I have those right here and this is a box full of accessories for that video so once I film those outfit ideas and I take outfit pictures then I can finally put away that box and these are the two boxes that just came and I don't like to hang stuff up until after I've filmed the video so I need to film those two separate videos even if they don't go up for another two three weeks which is what I do sometimes I film a haul and then I don't put it up for like three more weeks um then I'll be doing that but I have that stuff and then this pile of clothes to get rid of is literally just growing by the day like, this is insane. You guys don't realize how tall this pile is, but, like, it's at least two feet tall. Deep worth of clothes. Like, look at that. So, oh, boy. Constant, never-ending. I'm going to put all these sunglasses back in their cases, though, and into the little box to mail out to the giveaway winner. 
Um, I'm gonna do that and now that it is 3.30, I'm actually going to complete my art history assignments because they just they just um, were set live by my professor. So time to sit down and learn about Rococo art. It's a few hours later, 6.30 to be exact, and I've been doing some YouTube work for the last hour, so just I've had to do some maintenance things for my site and YouTube the last couple of days, so I'm just knocking out some of that. I've been watching Ozark during all of this. If you've watched this, comment below what you thought about it. I feel like it's really, really slow. Like, I can't get that into it. And the hour-long episodes are killing me because it feels it takes me so long to finish an episode um, that I'm only on season two, episode three, and I started it like over a week ago. But I just, it's not really keeping my interest. I feel like it's kind of stupid because all these people, like every episode it feels like someone dies and it just feels so fake to me. But I'm trying to stick it out because a lot of people seem to really, really like it and it's in like the top 10 Netflix shows of the week. So I'm trying my best to stick it out. If you guys have any Netflix recommendations, leave them below because I'm in the mood to watch something really good after watching The Ranch because I really liked that. But... It's, like I said, 6.30. I'm just going to sit here and keep on keeping on with the work while watching TV until we have dinner. I believe we're having burgers tonight, so I'm excited. You want some dinner, Abby? No. I'm downstairs in our basement now, and I am actually doing a creative project. Sick of staring at my computer. So this pair of jeans came in my Shein order that literally came yesterday. I haven't even shared them in a haul. But my plan for these mom jeans was to paint them. And I want a pair of pants that I can paint to wear to my baseball games. So I just free-handed the, this and it says, take me out to the ball game. My mom is going to like actually print out some vinyl baseballs and like golden flashes. And she's going to, sorry the basement's a mess. Our like college stuff is everywhere. Um, but anyways, she is going to print out some stencils that way I can make it pretty easy for me to trace those things but I'm pretty good at freehanding fonts and stuff just because I have so much experience doing it with cheer so I just freehanded this and now I am going to paint these originally I was thinking of going for like a Kent themed pair of pants but I think I'm actually just going to do these like white and black with red laces that way I can wear them to high school baseball legion college summer baseball like whatever it may be then I can wear these pants I'm planning on doing this to more than one pair of pants not like any kind of paint but just specifically like baseball themed pants just because I think they'd be fun for me to wear around the field so I think I'm gonna paint this white and black so we will see I'm not a great painter so we'll see how this turns out but either way I think it will just be fun so let's get rolling I'm using acrylic paint by the way Okay, I am calling it quits on the pants at this point right now. I have two coats on both the white and the yellow. I think the yellow is going to need another coat tomorrow. I messed up right there by the T, which kind of stinks, so I'm going to have to find a way to cover that little paint splatter up. And then for this, I'm actually, I'm going to put baseballs on the butt cheeks, but I wanted some form of baseball like on the front, so I painted this pocket white, and then I think I'm going to put laces through this pocket. It. I would have done it on this one but it has a like little pocket inside the pocket there so I haven't decided if I'm gonna put something on this leg but so far I think they look pretty good I am going to outline this with sharpie probably tomorrow but for now I am done for the night Madison how would you rate the ending of the ranch oh my god well it was really good but like I wanted more I was disappointed by the end I gave the end only an 8 out of 10. Well, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10, too. Mm. Sisters by chance, friends by I choice. I wanted to see the house, like, done. Just in I wanted them to have another kid, but, you know. Yeah. Alrighty, folks. For the sake of I don't think I'm going to be doing much tomorrow, I'm going to end the vlog off here. I didn't show as much as I would have liked today, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing part of my Thursday. I'm trying to keep vlogging, even though not a whole lot is going on, at least that I think is interesting. But let me know if there's anything in specific you guys want me to see or chat about, and I would be happy to do so. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today, and I will see you in my next video.